welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic and beautiful day. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining us and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have weekly videos that go out and I wanna make sure that nobody misses anything. So today we're going to do an unboxing of BoxyCharm. Unboxing, unboxing. I think I did that last time. Oh, BoxyCharm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I honestly don't know if this is the Boxy Premium or the Boxy Regular Boxy Charm or I don't think it's the Boxy Lux yet because I think that comes out in December. If you are new to Boxy Charm, they actually have three tiers right now. So you're able to get like a smaller one, like one more better than that one, and then like the big kahuna, which is supposed to be the one that's the deluxe, I think. I could be wrong. There's so many different boxes, guys. It's so hard to keep track now because Ipsy had rolled out their buy it, their ultimate, and now BoxyCharm added their premium and their 2.0. So it's like, guys, just make a good box and send it to me and I'll pay for it. Um, that was me on my little soapbox. So let's go ahead and open it up and find out exactly which one it is. Oh, my daughter's so cute. She just passed me a little note. It says, I love you. Aw. Okay, so here is our box. Ooh, I feel like the color inside the box is different. I feel like it hasn't always been that color. Or maybe it has. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so here is our little pamphlet, which, thank you, Boxy Charm, for providing one, that tells us our items, how much they are, and what they are. How much they are, what they are, and how to use them, usually. And here are all of our stuff. Hmm, let's see. So it looks like this month's theme is Stellar. Um, and I got Variation 15. I know my nails are gross. Ugh. Don't look at my nails. <laughs> I need to paint them or go get them done or clean them. Okay, so Stellar. And it's talking about tag, Hashtag Boxy Stellar for a chance to be featured. Ooh, featured. Um, <laughs> Dragon Beauty. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in because, yeah. Okay, so right off the bat, looks like we got some sort of concealer from Pretty Vulgar Undercover Lightweight Concealer. And it looks like you get four different shades. Honestly, I will never be tan enough to wear this shade. I would probably be the very top one because um, your girl here is really light. Um, I honestly thought that they were going to provide like an actual like full size product. Um, so I'm a little upset, not upset, just disappointed that it, it's only a um, sample. Uh, so it talks about how Pretty Vulgar Undercover is gluten-free, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, vegan, but not free. You still gotta pay for it. So, uh, see what I did there? Okay, sorry guys. Okay, so, um, guess we're gonna try it. Please tell me that this didn't cost something, because it would be bad if this was actually your full-size product and it doesn't look like it it looks like this was just an extra little here you go sample so whew, good thing next it looks like we got a lipstick from dose of colors which i really like their lipsticks i find that their lipsticks are very pigmented i have a really pretty bright pink one um that i really really like it looks like i got the color date night so ooh, of course it looks just like my other one they always have really pretty packaging with like the frosted tube and it looks like it is like not necessarily red maybe red like mistletoe 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 like burgundy-ish <sighs> guys I'm struggling it is a liquid matte lipstick which I really like I've always liked the really glossy lipsticks but it it doesn't last and then it gets sticky and everywhere so I really like the lip liquid lipsticks that end up being matte like they dry matte 
Um, I really like it because I feel like they last longer. It looks like it's a velvety high fashion matte finish in rich long wearing color. It In a few minutes it dries to an ultra comfortable matte finish and it is $18. Holy moly, I wanna try it. If it's $18, it better be the best damn lipstick ever. So I'm gonna do my little makeup. lipstick so when I'm not wearing lipstick it's probably because I'm sick or I'm sick or I'm dying because I like lipstick so let's go ahead and try it oh wow so it is extremely pigmented guys this is hard in the feel like in the background should be like the Jeopardy, like do, 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 do. Okay, so, dang, I made a mess. Okay, so putting lipstick in your camera is really difficult. So, um, I did the best I could, guys. I did the best. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, it's all over my face. Sorry, that took a little bit longer than I expected to, but if I would stand back a little bit and I wasn't noticing how horribly I applied it, it is a really pretty color. Even with this dress and my hair, it really pops and I like it. Except you really wanna make sure you get in there because it's like really showing like where I didn't cover my lips. So I'm gonna take it off, not because I don't like it, but because I applied it so horribly. I would rather have naked lips. Oh my God, now it's all over my face, guys. Oh my God. Okay. Also, dose of colors, they last long, which also means that they last all over your face if you don't take it off just right. Okay. What are the chances of there being another lipstick in here so my lips don't feel so naked? Probably none. Um, I really like the color. I lost the lipstick. Where did I put the lipstick? I really like the color, but you're going to have to put on lip liner. You're going to have to be very careful putting it on because obviously, as you can tell, it's difficult to take off. Difficult to take off. Um, oh, there it is. $18. Is it worth $18? Uh, it's kind of a mess, but you know, I'm not a pro, so it could be $18. I don't know. Right, let's keep on going because I just flubbed that all up. So next, it looks like we have a couple of packets and it says Starry Eyes, the world's kindest eye mask. And Ooh, and it warms up in 30 seconds. It's an indulgent self-warming eye mask. How freaking awesome. Um, my mind automatically went to those little things you put in your hands, those hand warmers that heat up and you put them in your pockets during winter. That is so cool. It is a set of two from Pop Band and it retails for $10. So I'm assuming for both it's $10, so $5 each. And it encourages circulation around the eye area and aid in deep puffing and relaxing. So I'm very, very excited. If anything, I'm more excited about this than the lipstick. So very excited. Next, this has to be my regular boxy charm. Does it? This cannot be my boxy looks. It says boxy looks in the back. This is not my boxy looks. I'll be sad if this is my boxy look. This is my regular boxy charm because I remember that I chose this as my customization. Um, it is from Kypris and it's an antioxidant dew glow serum. I am all about anything that's a serum because I, I just love serums. I love serums and um, 
skincare products. So whenever those are in my box, I get very, very excited. So it is a very pretty bottle, dark colored. It is glass and it is retailed for $90. Holy crap. That is a lot of money for a serum. Um, it is antioxidant dew lavish your skin with quenching encapsulated antioxidants, nurturing amino acids, and array of soothing botanicals. It's a lightweight hydrator and as a layering piece for your skincare wardrobe. So that is a lot of money and it's 1.59 fluid ounces. So I'm going to have to try to really make that last because that is a lot of money. That is, that is a big product. So I'm really excited about that. Looks like we only got two more things left. Um, it looks, this is heavy. It looks like we got something from, for Solly. Rose Gold Skin Mist, a 24 karat gold infused hydrate and prime and set. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Um, this retails for $39. It's a four-in-one wonder for all the skin types infused with gold flakes and rose hemp seed oil for a hydrating alcohol. Wow, that is beautiful. It, it's glass, so you would have to be very, very careful, which it actually makes me nervous. But can you guys see those flakes? That is just so pretty. Very, It looks very expensive and fancy, and I want to try it. So let's see how the mist is. Ooh, it's a really fine mist. Ooh. It is a really fine mist. I like the mist of it. It is fragrant, fragranced or what does it smell like? It doesn't smell like rose. Maybe it does, I don't know. It is fragranced, it's really light and refreshing. It does have a nice fragrance to it, but if you're not one of those that like your face misters to be fragrance, you may not like it, but it is very subtle. I really like the gold flakes that you can actually see them inside your bottle and that it's glass. I think it's very luxurious looking and very exciting. I mean, I don't see gold flakes on my face, so that's a good thing. So they're small enough that they just give you that radiance. Very, very excited. Holy moly. If anything, really love these two items because even the warming eye mask, I mean, so far this box is pretty darn good. So it looks like our last item is some sort of palette. It's from Celestial Thunder and it's from Dominique Cosmetics. It's an eyeshadow palette. Ooh. Okay, so, okay, I thought it had broken, but it's just the way that it's, that's not actually broken. I thought it was smeared, but it's not. So those are very beautiful colors, very celestial, I guess. Um, I don't want to put my fingers in them because, to be perfectly honest, I have a million pajillion eyeshadow palettes, and I will never get through them. So I feel like some lucky lady will really, really like this palette. This palette is retailed for $35. It says that they are vivid pigments, shadows, and glittery foils with eight uniquely formulated shades for a colorful eye look. Um, very beautiful. I just won't use it. I have actually put on my BoxyCharm quiz, do not send me eyeshadow palettes, but they still send it to me because I feel like that's just one of those things that they always seem to add so some lucky lady is going to be getting this or lucky gentleman you know whatever whatever rocks your boat so um somebody is going to be getting this in our next glitter babe giveaway at the end of november so very excited it looks like that was the last of it that's just the palette um the lipstick i'm still kind of upset it's like still kind of reddish I liked the color, but I feel like 
it was just too complicated. I don't know why. I feel like lipstick should be simpler. I mean, I know when you're putting that darker color and maybe it's just how I was applying it through the camera that that was causing all the issues. So that could be user error. So, but I am very excited about the face mist and the serum as well as the Starry Eyes eye mask. Um, the eyeshadow palette, eh, you know, like I said, I just have so many that whenever I see an eyeshadow palette, even before I open it, I just, I don't get very excited. Um, and I mean, it was nice they sent the sample, but it would have been even cooler if they would have actually put the full size product in the box. So all in all, it was in the middle. I'm gonna say I'm in the middle or slightly above middle. Um, I liked it, but there were still a couple of duds from me. Um, what did you guys get? What variation did you get? Did you guys like your products? Was there something in my box that you have to have um, in the next Glitter Babe giveaway? Let me know, comment down below, and I hope everyone has a fantastic day and a fantastic night, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, see you guys later.